parliamentary elections are coming next year. Although the election programs mostly remain a secret, citizens have finally heard some specifics. There will be no single opposition electoral list. We believe that it is impossible to run a single list. There are talks with Poland 2050, but they are so very loose without any commitments. We haven't yet agreed on program conditions. We are cooperating with agro-union and other parties within the Polish coalition. More often there is talk of two, three or even four opposition lists. The left could enter a coalition but on one condition, either all or none. As the left, we put ourselves at the disposal. We believe that it is necessary to win Poland for Polish women and men. If there is a joint list, we have such readiness. If PSL doesn't want it, well, there probably won't be this joint list, because if we are talking about a joint list, we are talking about all the parties of the democratic opposition. Representatives of the current government are skeptical about the idea of a joint opposition list. Imagine what the cohesion of a coalition such as PO, PSL, 2050, the left, and a confederation would look like, given that the president is from the right. We, of course, have differences in the united right camp, but they concern a small number of issues. For now, voters can rest assured that despite these differences, the united right will remain united. We have such plans to go to these elections together. Eight years, sometimes difficult relationships and moments, but there is something that binds us together. The most important thing for us is a sovereign Poland. There is a chance that Kuki's 15 deputies will join the United Right in 2023. We've been doing the same thing for months. We came to the parliament to change Poland's system. If it can be done with a united right, we would be irresponsible if we didn't want to do it. Entering into a coalition may help the parties in the upcoming elections. However, as Professor Mieczysław Ryba points out, such a solution will not be beneficial in every case. Gluing together with PSL, Cookies did it. Please see where he is now. We'll take away that allure of freshness from Hołownia. There is an electorate in Poland that thinks that if someone is new, then surely they are better and will change something. Then there is disappointment. Going jointly between Hołownia and PSL may not bring their votes together. PSL could take theirs and Hołownia could lose on it. In the coming months, we will find out how the various parties will try to convince the Polish people. We will also learn the answer to the question of how many lists the opposition candidates will run on in the upcoming elections next fall.